Hi, uh, July 10th, uh, Happy Dog Farm, July 11th, July, July 11th, and welcome to the Orchard of the Mud Trees, the Ghost Trees. Um, this is not a term Bur Tim Burton film, this is the benefits of surround, Kaylin Clay. Um, you may have just watched the video I did on Japanese beetles. This is the other side of it, where I don't want the critters on my trees, whatever they may be. And Kaylin Clay does a couple things. One of this product name is Surround, Bite in Big Bags. Water soluble, you don't have to add a surfactant to it. Um, read the instructions. You can do it in a backpack if you don't mind doing the shaky shaky every now and then to keep it agitated. Um, I use the tractor sprayer now because I got more trees. Anyway, it's very fine, fine, really flower-like, finer powder. Flower won't work. They use the clay. And when the bug lands on it, the bug's going, yo, what is this stuff? And the bug says, I don't want to deal with, I don't want to deal with this. And the bug leaves. So it's really just a benign repellent. Uh, down south of the equator, they found out it also had the benefit that it prevents sunburn on your trees. Who knew? So it also prevents scalding on the fruit itself when you get fruit. I don't know about that. So this is kaolin clay. I, I go around once, it dries, then I go around again, and it's easy to put more on. You can't put more on all at once. It's kind of like painting. Eventually it just falls off, it rolls off. They get a nice coat. Now to kill two birds with one stone, I did a foliar feeding also. My trees took a beating this year in the spring. A lot of leaf damage, uh, really nasty stuff happened to them. So I did a foliar feeding with Fertrell, um, foliar plant food. It's a mix of kelp and fish guts. And it made me homesick because it reminded me of low tide in the Pacific Northwest. It really smells bad unless you're from there. Um, but it blends, I put this in the tank first, you know, I do 30 gallons of water, pour in my measured quantity of low tide, and then I mix the clay in on top of it. Um, there's no reason these two can't go together. Uh, the leaves have to get wet, then it dries, and you get this benefit, and they still get the uptake of the food. It's very, it's very mild, it's a 2-1-1. Sure, there's debate whether foliar, foliar feedings work. I think they work. Um, and also, my trees are still at a very young stage. I'm going to do everything I can for my kids. Dang it. All right. I'm not a helicopter dad, but I might be close. Anyway, Fertrell is a listed organic product. Uh, they have a listed organic product line. Um, actually, it was cheaper for me to buy liquid mail order then locally go figure so shop it around um, and what this cost me twenty seven dollars you know so I get two feedings out of a gallon that's not bad really um, surround again mail orders cheaper than buying it locally they don't get it here um, so uh, I'll buy like 60 pounds at once and you know, two bags and I just put it all inside of a big plastic tote that I dispense it out of and I figured out it takes like one and a half scoops per gallon of water so that's just easy way for me to remember how much to dose in the tank while the agitator's running um, when you use this stuff make sure you got good agitation before you start spraying um, you should have some sort of agitator in your tank I did a video earlier about the agitator in my tank um, and the stuff will want to settle. So you drive really fast down a bumpy road with your tractor, and by the time you get to the orchard, I don't know if you can hear that. They're logging near me. It's very impressive. Um, so anyway, Kaylin Clay, surround, benign, nice, and it gives you this really Halloween ghost-like looking orchard, but what do you care? It's... Um, you know, it's benign. It's all good. So, safe. That's another word for it. If you get on your tractor and stuff, you better wash it off right away. Um, it does kind of look bad. Um, I do wear a respirator, by the way, whenever I do this. I wear coveralls, especially when I do this, because otherwise you, you personally smell like low tide wherever you go for the rest of the day. 
uh, some people may not be as impressed. Okay, so much for that one. Thanks for watching. Bye.